Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James grounded family Bible study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Numbers 2. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, saying, Every man of the children of Israel, Jewish, shall pitch by his own standard with an ensign of his father's house. This standard ensign is a flag. And what it does is marking the tribes of Israel. As the United States flag marks the United States different from China. And China different from Russia. And Russia different from England. The flags of the nations are to say this is who we are. This is what we are. On the battlefield. You know who, what side you're on. Nowhere does God ever say to give worship to the flag of peace of cloth. Here is given as an identity as a flag is. Each of the children of Israel, their 12 tribes, has their own identity in a flag. Now, I'm not against the flag of America. That's our flag. That's our symbol. But when you're going to say you're going to give allegiance to that piece of cloth, I'm sorry, but you stepped into the idol worship and outside of God. Now, according to the flag, the red means hardness or value. White is purity, innocence. <laughs> yeah, right. Blue is endurance, diligence, justice. <laughs> the stars look at the heavens as they did with the Tower of Babel without God. And the stripes, I mean, I mean the, yeah, the stripes are the sunlight of the sun. Oh, the stripes in my Bible are Jesus Christ being whipped for my iniquities and for my sins. I guess you can have Baal, the sun god that rises. I'll take Jesus Christ by his stripes in my heel. And I made many people angry, but a flag is a symbol of a particular group of people. And that's all it is even in the Bible. You said, fall down and worship God. We're up to, from Genesis 1 to Numbers 2. We've seen God is a jealous God. He doesn't want no images. He doesn't want no idolatry. He doesn't want no idols. You're not to lift anything up and worship them. So, that's what I got to say about it. Far off from the tabernacle of the congregation shall they pitch. Now, We've taken the number of the armies men suited for the military in chapter 1. Chapter 2 is now we're going to form a camp of armies. And we're going to be doing north, south, east, and west all around the tabernacle. Now, in the camp of Israel, as they are traveling to the promised land, in the center of that camp is that tabernacle. The most holy place. The holy place and the courtyard. We're going to see later on in Numbers, outside that, that tabernacle, are particular families of the Levites, the priests. Outside of those Levites, the priests, is chapter 2. The children of Israel, the armies. Now remember with chapter 1, it is men that are 20 years old and upward that are able for battle. We saw 603,550 men, and that's not counting the women, that's not counting the children, that's not counting teenagers. That's not talking about the crippled or the elderly. 
Moses has a vast number of people under his authority. And on the east side, we start off with the east. The sun comes rising up. Toward the rising of the sun. Shall they of the standard of camp of Judah. First one to be called is Judah. Judah is east of the, of the tabernacle. The Bible direction is east to west. They will enter the promised land from east to west. The standard of the camp of Judah. And you can go online. You can find all kinds of uh, depiculations of the standard of Judah. I don't know what it is. It may be a lion. It may be a scepter. Throughout their armies. Notice the word armies. Nashon, the son of Abinadad. We saw all these names and these numbers in chapter 1. Last night. Get numbers chapter 1, the poles, and you'll go right along with this. Shall be the captain. So there is a captain in, in God's army. A soldier, captain. He is the head of all the armies of the particular families here, Judah. Of the children of Judah. And his host. Those that were numbered of them, chapter 1, were three score and 14,600. We saw that chapter 1. And those that do pitch next unto him shall be the tribe of Issachar. Okay? East side. Each of the four directions, there are three tribes of the children of Israel. So east, we not only see Judah, but we see Issachar. What are the arrangements of these three for the four directions? I have no idea. But when you read the 12 tribes of Israel throughout your Bible, you never see them mentioned. In one particular way. They're, they're always, their names are always scrambled. They're never the same. I'm saying like when you got the birth order. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah. They may switch that around. Now you may have some place in the Bible they do line up the same. But it's not always. I hope I didn't mess that up. Those that do pitch, next unto him shall be the tribe of Issachar. So Issachar and Judah. Nethiel, the son of Zoar. Zaar. I told you, I won't be mentioning these names the same way again. Shall be captain of the children of Israel. So here's two captains. Uh, Issachar. Here's two captains so far. There's going to be three camps. Three captains. Three people in charge. His hosts. Those that were numbered thereof. Were 50 and 4,000, we saw it in chapter 1, and 400. Then the tribe of Zebulun, Judah, Issachar, and Zebulun. And Elab, the son of Helon, shall be captain of the children of Zebulun. So here's the third captain. And his hosts, the hosts of Zebulun. And those that were numbered thereof were 50 and 7,000 and 400. All that were numbered of the camp of Judah, Three in one. These three tribes are one tribe. Judah were a hundred thousand and four score thousand and six thousand and four hundred. Throughout their armies, these shall first set forth. So there's a hundred and eighty six thousand four hundred soldiers of the tribe of Judah, of Judah himself, Issachar and Zebulun. On the south side shall be the standard of the camp of Reuben. Okay, here's Reuben. Now he's the firstborn. But Judah was mentioned first. According to their armies. And the captain of the children of Reuben was, shall be Eliezer, the son of Shedor. And his hosts and those that were numbered therein were 40 and 6,500. Chapter 1. And those which pitched by him shall be the tribe of Simeon. And a captain of the children of Simeon shall be Shemuel, the son of Zerushdiah, and his hosts. And those that were numbered then were fifty and nine thousand and three hundred. Chapter one. Then the tribe of Gad, 
So we get Reuben, we get Simeon, we got Gad on the south. There's a there's 151,450 of these three camps. In the tribe of Gad, the captain of the sons of Gad shall be Elshaphat, the son of Reuel, and his hosts. And those that were numbered of them were forty and five thousand and six hundred and fifty. And all that were numbered in the camp of Reuben, one whole group, three and one, were a hundred thousand five and fifty and one thousand and four hundred and fifty. Again, one hundred fifty-one thousand four hundred and fifty throughout their armies. And they shall set forth in the second rank. Then the tabernacle of the congregation shall set forward with the camp of the Levites in the midst of the camp. And as they encamp, <coughs> so shall they set forward. So we look at two tribes and we're looking at the center now, the tabernacle. That's what's in the center. Every man in his place by their standard. So there's no going over to another tribe. There's no going, if you're supposed to be on the north side, going over on the east side. Every man, every tribe, every family has a set place by God. God does things in an orderly fashion. It's never chaotic. God is set forth to know where you're supposed to be. And if you're not there, you're out of the will of God. On the west side... Shall be the standard of the camp of Ephraim. Okay, here's Ephraim. This is the third group. According to their armies. And the captain and the sons of Ephraim shall be Elishema, the son of Aminhad, and his hosts. And those that were numbered of them were 40,500. Again, chapter 1. And by him shall be the tribe of Manasseh. And the captains of the children of, Mas the captains of, the children of Mas Manasseh shall be Gemiel, the son of Pedazer. After this host, those that were numbered of them were 30 and 2,200. And the tribe of Benjamin, now this is interesting. You've got the children of Rachel together on the west side. Ephraim and Manasseh are two tribes that come from the sons of Joseph. What God does is he takes the Levites and says, those are mine. Though they be the children of Israel, they are a special class of children. They are my children. So for the twelve to be still twelve, and the laying on hands that Jacob did to Ephraim and Manasseh, God has split Joseph into two. Still retain the twelve tribes, and here are the sons. Of Rachel together for some reason and I don't know why and his host those that were numbered of them were 30 and 2,200 then the tribe of Benjamin the captain of the sons of Benjamin this is a fierce group of children shall be a Abidin, the son of Gideon and his host and those that were numbered of them were 30 and 5,400 and all that were numbered of the camp of Ephraim. Ephraim is in charge. He set forward. Were a hundred thousand and eight thousand and a hundred. A hundred and eight thousand and one hundred soldiers in this group under Ephraim. Throughout their armies. And they shall go forward in the third rank. The standard of the camp of Dan. This is the first boy that's born by proxy. He's the troublemaker. Study Dan. Dan means judge. Shall be on the north side, looking north now, by their armies. And the captain of the children of Dan shall be Ahazer, the son of Amishadai. And his hosts, those that were numbered of them, were threescore and two thousand and seven hundred. And those that encamp by him shall be the tribe of Asher next. And the captain of the children of Asher shall be Pegil, the son of Akram, and his hosts. And those that were numbered of them were forty and one thousand and five hundred. And then the tribe of Nephtali. And the captain of the children of Nephtali shall be Ahira, the son of Enan, 
and his holes. And those that were numbered of them were fifty and three thousand and four hundred. All they that were numbered in the camp of Dan were a hundred thousand and fifty and seven thousand and six hundred. A hundred and fifty seven thousand six hundred. Uh, with all those toes together, Judah is the most east with 186,400. And they that were numbered at Camp of Dan were 100,000 and 50 and 7,000 and 600. Write these numbers out and it'll be, it'll be interesting. You don't need to change the Bible. Just put right there in it like I do. There's a number. They shall go hinder most, the last, with their standards. There's their flag. It identifies them. There are three flags. There are three tribes per direction. Let's say you got wandered off by accident. You look over there and you look for your family. So, okay, that's where I belong. That's it. That's all it is. These are those which were numbered of the children of Israel by the house of their fathers. Issachar, Naphtali, Benjamin, Judah, Dan, Issachar. All those that were numbered of the, of the camps. Army camps. And you see that today. You see it throughout history. The military's broken down the camps. Comes out of the Bible. There are 12 gathering camps together. 3, 3, 3, and 3. Throughout their hosts were 600,000, 3,550. That's how many they were all together. But the Levites were not numbered among the children of Israel. As the Lord commanded Moses. Levites are a special group, a special tribe. And the children of Israel did according to all that the Lord commanded Moses. So they pitched by their standards the flag. So they set forward every one after their families. So they stayed in their group. They stayed with their who they were. Every one after their families according to the house of their fathers, the twelve tribes of Israel. 